me, it's all about pride and culture. LA is, is, since, you know, it's my home, it's where I'm from. I love the skyline of LA so much, I put on the cover of my book. Everywhere I, I go with me, I, I take LA with me. Genesis told me, hey, we want you to shoot this car. We don't want to tell you anything, what to do or how, you, how to do it. You just go and do your thing. And that's like one of the best type of jobs you can get as a photographer or any type of creative. The most famous photo I've ever taken was the LA Hands. It became, you know, a thing, you know? People do it worldwide in my photography. I try to shoot everything the same way that I would if I'm at home. It's a distinct style. My English is not so good, even though it's my first language, but my photos do all the talking for me. This is all for the G80. I don't want to come half-stepping. I brought my uh, 1973 Niso eight millimeter camera. 1970s Canon AE1s. These are the Pentax, the 80s versions, 672s, medium format. This is meaty right here. I got an old school uh, fisheye lens. And then with these cameras, you're gonna need some film. These are like prehistoric, like uh, dinosaur footprints. This, you could just pick up like this. This is my digital camera. It's, uh, it's cool, but there's nothing like these. Okay, 160, 1,000, 2.8. Hop, hand me the film. With me, I'd like to take a good picture from the beginning. That way I don't have to do a bunch of stuff afterwards because it's kind of like you're painting over your picture when you're doing the Photoshopping. I just like to give the people like what you see is what you get. And to me, that's what a photograph is. When I started doing photography, I was in the lowriding world. I had bought a lowrider already. My dad said it'd be cool for you to document your car club and, and shoot all that. So him and his wife gave me a camera that they had an extra one and I started shooting. Right when I looked through the lens, I know I got the money shot. Like I, I could feel it. And, and even though with the film cameras, you don't get to cheat and look in the back and see if you got it. You go off of instinct and you go off of what, what uh, your heart tells you. And then you see it a couple days later after you develop the film and you're like, okay, I was right on that one. After 20, 30 years of that, you know right away, as soon as you look through the peephole, you're in. Right now we're on the side of the, the 101 and the 60 freeway where they connect. And before the police used to use this as a storage space where they stored all their police cars. What I like about this alley is that it, the depth of it, how far down it goes. There's walls all the way down on one side and then the freeway and the fence all the way down on the other side. Shooting this car is like shooting a, you know, like a spaceship, the way it's designed just it looks incredibly like futuristic and it screams luxury. Car to car is fun because you gotta have the right settings on your camera so that the car is in focus but everything else has movement in the background. It's gonna be good. I feel it. Hey, can we do one more? Yeah. The locations I picked were specifically so that I could get the shots that I needed with the light. Right next to the 110 freeway with the city in the background. A long, long alley with nothing on either side except for the bridge and some buildings. And the third location I chose was in the Third Street Tunnel. I like the way, uh, you know, how, the, how they design the lights and the grill. With our cars, you know, one of the, the main shots we always shoot when we're shooting a lowrider is the grill and the back end and then like at three quarter angles. 
swap out the car, you know? A lowrider for a G80, and it really stands out, you know, shines. The cool thing about this shoot is, uh, you know, they let me pick my friends to work with, as far as uh, Jason Cordova and Jason Goldwatch. I grew up looking at this dude's, through this dude's eyes, right? And then we went on a trip together, I didn't know him very well, but we, I ended up getting to sit next to him on a flight somewhere in Europe. The difference between this camera See, with, with this camera, the, the photographers, they like to go like this, watch. And we call that spray and pray. You go like this, and before you know it, you're gonna get a good shot. And then there's this, you cannot do that. This is one shot, you gotta get the shot in that one or it's a wrap. <laughs> 